A lot of things you can do with Inkscape that are very cool. One of the cool things you can do is you can draw customized arrows by using their drawing tool. And their drawing, Bezier drawing tool is this tool right here that you can invoke by coming over like this and then you can draw an arrow and then you put the mouse key down and then you come out here and, and you hit the mouse key again and it comes up and it turns these fills on for you and I don't want to have that fill. This area over here, the fill and stroke, is something which is common to many areas of the program and it's got three different tabs on it and you can explore what these different tabs do. You have the fill, which if you look at what I have there, you can see if I click that fill you see a strange little thing happen there. I can go ahead and I can texture it or, or basically do a, a gradient with it different kinds of gradients with it but I don't want to have a fill for that particular shape I just want to have the line so then I have a stroke paint and that's the color that I want my line to be at and I can adjust that I have different color wheel type of methodologies if I wanted to go ahead and make something that was a very precise color I could do it using one of these regimes for setting colors but uh, I'm just happy to click on a color and get it myself and then we have the stroke style. Now the stroke style is neat because I can take the stroke style and I can make it bigger or smaller. I can set exactly the number of pixels that I have and I can set the kind of endings that I want. If I don't want to have square endings I hit this. And then the thing that's really cool here is that I have start markers, mid markers, and end markers. And my end marker as I'm going to set as a an arrow head right here and my start marker or I have that as my end marker. let me change that around I'm going to make my end marker that one okay I've got that and I'm going to make this other one there we go got two different markers at either end just play around until you get it and then what I have is I have created a basic tool here now I can press F1 here and put it in a select mode which is the same as if I hit this arrow right here and now I can press F2 which is the same as if I press this which is an edit path nodes now what this allows me to do is to be able to adjust and pull this little arrow that I've just created around and I'm going to point this over in this area here and I'm going to pull this area over here like this, pull this up like so, and I can stretch this down a little bit further if I want, get it right where I want, over here to this this area in here. So I have an arrow that's stylized and neat that I can play different games with if I want to affect the way the shading works on it, I can do that over here. And when I'm done, I can press F1 or I can hit this control box and I have it selected for doing what I want to do. Now let's say I want to go ahead and do text. So I could either come down here and hit this text box which is okay or I can hit F8 and it puts me in text mode. Now I'm going to draw this and now I'm going to say this is the point of closest approach and I'm done and so now I can press F1 to select it and I can move it down to exactly where I want it and I have made a very nice very professional looking kind of notation on my graph with an arrow that I can come back and adjust and do what I want to. I can also save this arrow as an object and import it later on so they don't always have to recreate it. So if I did that then I could come up here and I can go file import and I could bring in this SVG object which I would call my guide arrow and then anytime I wanted to adjust it the direction of it I would just come to this object right here or this mode right here select it and then I can move things around I can move both ends of it around to wherever I would want and use it for whatever purpose that I want so it's a very powerful tool and one that I think that you'll enjoy using once you get into making very attractive looking plots with Inkscape.